Okay, this is uh, part 37. I was cut a little bit short last video um, to make sure I didn't go over my time. Um, but we were having a little bit of problem, and if I just click the comment button, um, first of all, it takes us to the very top of the page, and that's kind of sucky. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, bring the user back down to this area, and we're also going to uh, make it so this is working properly. So to make that work properly, the space right here, that needs to be removed and put on the other side. And um, to make it so it'll scroll back down, I'm going to put in an echo statement up here. Whoops. And first thing we're going to have is another break tag. And then we're going to have anchor tags. So we're going to say uh, name. So we're going to say anchor name equal to and then uh, comment dash form um, helps if I spell comment right and then for our action on our page we want to put a, a pound symbol or a hash symbol depending on what country you're in and we want to say comment dash form or tack form and then um, re-upload and if we refresh the page and resend, it fixes that and it also puts another uh, another 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 line there, um, which we don't actually want. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. So if we refresh, resend, gets rid of that line, and you did not supply comments. So if we manually go back to this page, and if we click comment it'll take us automatically back down here to make it so um, we don't have to just scroll down so that's nice now one thing I thought about is we don't want users to be able to comment on their own profile so inside of our inside of our comment button action area we're gonna put in another if statement and the if statement is gonna say if user ID um, is not equal the get ID. So if it's not the current um, profile, then we're gonna make it. Then we're gonna allow them to comment. But if it's not, we're gonna set our MSG variable to. Whoops. Um, there it is. To um, you cannot comment on your own profile. So that takes care of that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and indent that. So that'll make it so you can't comment on your own profile. So what we can start on now is um, our code to actually get all the comments from the database. Um, and I'm just going to say end display comment area. And that's just to uh, add a little bit of um, user, it's just user preference for me. Um, so inside of here, we want to set our query variable. So query equals mysql underscore query. And we want to say select all from um, profile underscore comments. Uh, we want to say where profile underscore ID equals the get ID. So where the um, we're going to select all the comments for the current user, the current profile rather, and we're going to order them by um, ID, oops, that needs to be lowercase, and we want to set it to descending, so D-E-S-C for descending, and then we're going to have our num rows, there we go. So mysql underscore num underscore rows and our query variable. So if num rows, oops, num rows, if num rows is greater than zero, so if there's at least one comment, that's pretty much what that's saying. Um, but if not, we're going to echo. Um, and when we echo this, we have to put an extra line break here. Um, 
let's see, um, this user has no profile comments. Yeah, that works. So inside of our if statement right here, we want to put in a while loop to make it so we can get all the comments from the database. And inside our while loop, we want to put our classic MySQL fetch, um, a sock, you know, our row variable. Whoops. Um, so, whoops, that should be query. And um, inside of here, we only need to get a couple of things. We need to get the user ID. So, um, user underscore ID. We need to get the user name. Actually, two spaces here. Don't want that. Um, paste that. We want the comments. And last but not least, we want the date. So the date that it was posted on. And then after we have all of that, we can just echo everything out in any sort of way that you want. Um, for now, I'm just going to check to make sure I've gotten everything properly and everything's working. So we're going to say user underscore ID, um, user underscore name, line break. Date, gosh, on date. Um, comments, and for our comment on our row, we need to do nl nl to br, so new line to break. So that's going to make it so it it can be multi-lined. So yep, let's go ahead and upload and refresh the page and actually I don't want to refresh since we've made it so you can't comment on your own profile I'm just gonna go to a different user I hope this user doesn't use, uh, doesn't mind Far Cry and uh, oh look at that that's totally a coincidence that's funny um, this is the user that requested the profile comments um, hey just testing the just testing the profile comments um, function you requested. So we'll do a spell check on that. And we'll click comment. So your comment has been added and is shown above. And this is our comment. So our user ID of 1, basic nick, and comment right there. And our date. So that's that's good. Okay, so yeah. So that's working. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of style it. Um, but before we do that, our message variable, I decided that I want to put it in bold tags to make it kind of stick out and stand out um, when it's being submitted or being shown rather. So yeah, so I'll just make it a little bit nicer. So I'm going to get rid of all of this, put in another echo, and we're going to say um, posted by um, user underscore name and we're going to put anchor tags around that whoops move my mouse um, so we want to say a href equals and this is going to be site slash oh, dollar sign slight site slash profile question mark id equals and this is going to be our user underscore ID. So that makes it so you can link off to their profile and then go ahead and just comment on their profile. So after that, we're going to say on and then date. And then we're going to put in a line break. And so I don't go off screen here. I'm just going to do another echo statement. And this is just going to be our comment. Um, and I think that after each comment, I'm going to put in um, a horizontal line, so HR. I'm going to head FTP it, uh, refresh. We don't want to resend, um, and maybe we'll do some sort of check 
to make it so um, you can't resubmit comments. We'll probably do that later. Um, so posted by Basic Nick on October 8, 2010. Hey, just testing the profile comment function you requested. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to kind of indent this a little bit and maybe make some of this stuff bold. So first of all, I'm gonna make that lowercase b. Get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to make it a date bold for sure. So end bold. And our comment, uh, I'm going to put in um, a div tag. So we're going to end div. Um, I'm going to start the div. So div. I'm going to say style equals whoops, um, margin dash left. And I'm going to say. I'm going to go 10 pixels to start just to see what it looks like. Uh, 10 pixels might be too much. So refresh, 10 pixels, kicks it over. Um, actually, I think 10 pixels is good. So it gives it a nice little indent. And then we have the uh, that right there. So yeah, that's good. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make everything bold in this top area. So yeah. So we just got to remove the tags right there, and that should be good. So that makes everything bold right there, and we have our comment right there. Um, and if I was to add another line, it would automatically indent that as well. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to modify our comment button action area. Um, after we check to make sure it's not the current user, trying to comment on their own profile. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a query equals mysql underscore query. There we go, spelling everything wrong there. Um, select all from profile whoops underscore um, where um, <coughs> let's see profile underscore ID equals dollar sign get ID and user underscore ID equals um, dollar sign user ID space and comments equals dollar sign comments and then we're going to say num rows equals mysql underscore num underscore rows and obviously our query is going to be in there and we're going to say if num rows equals equals zero so if it's not found in the database that means means we're good and then we need to throw the other end of that there and we want to put it in else echo or not echo sorry um, our msg variable equals um, you can not submit submit the same comment twice. So then we're just going to indent this. So I'm going to end this video, uh, stop this video here, run out of time. In the next video we'll finish up with the profile comment.